This is a Ryzen 3700X. And this is a X370 motherboard. Specifically, this is the MSI X370 Gaming Pro Carbon. And we're going to see how these two work together. But before we can use the 3700X with this board, we have to do a couple things. So first off, go to MSI's website, download the latest BIOS, throw it on a flash drive. Then we'll need a first gen Ryzen CPU. Some of these boards do support BIOS updates without a CPU installed, but this one doesn't. So after updating the BIOS, this board does seem to boost correctly. And thermally, this board does really well for a board not designed with 12 and 16 core CPUs in mind. So after about an hour of real bench, we're only at about 40C. Also, a nice side effect of updating the BIOS, it gives us a much more usable BIOS, which is always welcome. Now, the best overclock I could get on the memory on this board was 3400CL14, and sadly, anything over 3500 MHz would just not post with any settings at all, even tried settings like CL18. But 3400 at CL14 is still pretty darn good memory overclock. Now this board does offer a lot on par with many of the lower end X570 ports. So we got multiple high speed USB ports, two M.2 slots. You have a really nice PCIe layout with 16X, 8X and 4X, which are all full length slots, multiple fan connectors, but there's no Wi-Fi. The VRM heat sinks are pretty unimpressive. And the fact that you probably have to update the BIOS to be able to use a Ryzen 3000 CPU will kind of make this not viable for a lot of people. So like I said earlier, some boards do have the option to update the BIOS without a CPU, but not all do. And this is probably the biggest issue with using one of these X370 boards with the new Ryzen CPUs. X570 boards do add PCIe 4, so you can get some crazy fast disk arrays going and some pretty impressive memory overclocking. Now, most of them are rather overkill, but they do add something that X370 just can't do. But overall, X370 is a great option to use to build a Ryzen 3000 build, as long as you have a way to update the BIOS to support Zen 2. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you have any questions, comments, leave them down below. Until next time, 